What is going on guys? Welcome to your 40th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking our terrain we made and I'm going to be taking it to the next level because our terrain is looking pretty good right now with these rocky mountains and nice little valley and even a nice little dirt path for our user to walk along but check it out if we were to walk outside right now no piece of earth would look like this because outside has more trees and rocks and plants and bushes and there are definitely none of them in our terrain it's kinda of like a wasteland right now so let's go ahead and add some of those things through the use of something called a deco layer now a deco layer is just short for decoration layer and these are the layers that you add that hold the trees and plants and bushes and even rocks and stuff like that so in order to do that before we just go ahead and start plopping new layers down in our layer panel, let's go ahead and select the static mesh that we want to use. So go ahead and open the content browser, select static meshes, and I'm just going to go ahead and search for a tree to see what trees we got. Alright, some nice options, some kind of dead looking trees right here, even a tobacco plant to the right of here. And you see, alright, so the only really two trees we got that aren't dead are this tree and this tree. So I'm going to go ahead and use this tree because it looks... I don't know pretty cool to me however I wanna say this anytime you have a static mesh and you wanna incorporate it in your terrain you need to make sure that it's loaded now if you can see these options right now it says path date added and status you see that the status is not loaded and we need to make sure that this tree is loaded in a memory for us to use it so go ahead and it's probably easier just to load the entire package that the tree's in. So what we can do is go scroll down here, try to look for the tree. Alright, is it in this package? Nope. This package? Nope. Is it in uh, this package? Nope. Well, what we can do if we go ahead and right click it and hit find package, it's going to automatically jump to the package that it's in. So the package that this is in is generic foliage. So go ahead and right click it and hit fully load. And now it's going to load everything that's in generic foliage. So check it out. With our tree selected, you can see that path, info, day added, and status, it's now loaded into memory. So go ahead and just select that right now and make sure it's the currently selected item in your content browser and then go ahead and close out of that. Now, like I said, in order to add trees to the terrain, we need to add them on something called a decoration layer or a deco layer. So in order to add a new deco layer, right click and add new deco layer and I'm just gonna name it something clever like you would never guess like trees go ahead and hit OK however right now we basically have a blank decoration layer it's a layer but it doesn't know what static mesh it needs to associate with so go ahead and with your layer selected right click and hit add selected decoration this is gonna take whatever object is currently selected in your content browser and associate it with this layer so now this trees layer is actually associated with the tree in our content browser however before we just start painting them on we need to change a couple properties of this layer so go ahead and hop up to properties and under your terrain under your deco layers you now have a bunch of options go ahead and just expand everything zero zero and factory what we're looking for actually you don't even need to expand that factory but if you do you can see that it is indeed associated with this tree right here what we're going to be looking for is this min scale, max scale, and density. Now these are the three most important settings in your terrain properties layer. Remember, this is the decoration layer we're working with, and min scale and max scale is basically just like it sounds. Whenever you're adding trees to your terrain, it doesn't know how big or how small to add them. So it's going to add them randomly. So the minimum size you want is like 0.2 of the normal size. Now by default the size is 1 so we'll just change it like the maximum size of the tree is 1 by default. Now the density is how thick do you want to add these materials so if you have something like 0.1 then it's going to add 1 every time. That's just an example. It's going to add like 1 every time you hit your brush. But if you have something like 2.0 it's going to add like 50 every time you add your brush. So how dense do you want those trees whenever you start painting and I'm just going to put it like at 0.6 because that's a nice median. We don't want them too thick or else our player isn't going to be able to run through them. And we don't want them too skinny or else it's only going to be like three trees across our entire terrain. So 
these look like pretty good settings to me we can always change them later on but just go ahead and when you have your settings applied X out of there and now what we can do is go ahead and start painting on the screen so go ahead and let me change my radius hold control and start painting those trees right across my terrain and another thing you want to notice is that these trees the more you paint just like anything else the longer it's going to take your game to load so sometimes you want a lot of trees but a lot of the time you uh well i just want to say i can't i'm not going to go into the fact that the more things you have on your map the longer it takes to load but just like anything else make sure you don't you know add a ton of trees to your map or else your game is going to process forever so now that we have a couple trees added um, let's go ahead and hit play from here and I want to show you guys a few things first of all you guys notice that some trees are small and some trees are bigger and that's because of that min scale and max scale you might be able to see better right here that some trees are small some are bigger, bigger it randomly adds them depending on the settings you chose so actually that's basically all I need to teach you for decoration layers that's how you do it that's how you add it again to paint hold down control and left click if you want to go ahead and erase them hold down control and right click and it's going to erase some of those trees from your layer and again you can add trees and rocks and bushes and tobacco plants and marijuana plants and any illegal drug plant you want using this way so that is the basics of a decoration layer and through the use of all those things I taught you with terrain you should be able to now create some awesome amazing looking terrains so for now I think that's gonna be all I'm gonna be covering with terrain there's a lot more that I can go over but uh for now you guys got the core understanding of how to work with terrain so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial